Hi, I'm Julie, and this is the Average Beauty Channel. I wanted to do kind of a little product rave slash info um, regarding eyebrows. Eyebrows are a really tricky thing. They take quite a bit of time sometimes to get the hang of if you're not blessed with beautiful, full, nicely shaped brows that it's easy to know where to pluck. Um, I think eyebrows are one of the growing pains of makeup. You know, there's many growing pains of makeup. With lipstick, you start off with pink frosted lipstick. With eyeshadow, you do blue frosted eyeshadows and glitter and all kinds of craziness. Um, but brows for me have always been difficult because I have very sparse brows and especially when I was younger before I started plucking or any of that, um, you know, having even just the very few hairs that are down here really distracted from where my brow was, from, in my opinion. I'm sure other people could see it, but you know how what you don't see and other people see is completely different. So I remember, um, real quick story, when I was in sixth grade and knew everything, um, I had started playing with makeup and um, I decided that it was time to pluck my brows. My family and I went to go, go visit my grandmother in um, South Lake Tahoe. And my aunt, who was quite younger than my mother, her sister, um, had left her tweezers out and little um, mustache clipper scissors that you can use to like trim your hair or trim your brows or whatever. And um, I looked at those and thought, it is time, young one. It's time to pluck and take care of those brows. So, unfortunately, I went to town on them to the point where there was like two to three hairs thick. And it was just like a little tiny line. I mean, I looked... It looked like a chola that forgot her pencil to color them in. It was, it was needless to say, a, f a flaming hot mess. Um, and I remember in the back seat, it was so painful because I pulled. You know, I didn't know how to pluck, so I had literally probably ripped the hairs out of my face. It was so red and it hurt so bad. I had just been, like, holding my hands, like, over, like, just because it burned. And we had a van, and my mother turns around, because she sees me in the rear view mirror. She turns around and looks at me and goes, and she sees, like, the red around my eyebrows, and she goes, what did you do? And she, my dad pulled over the van, and she got out, and she ripped my hands down and looked at my eyes and said, Julie, my middle name, which I don't like to tell people because it's not my favorite. Oh, my God, you know, she was ups very upset. So, needless to say, I, I learned then, <laughs> you know, to go with your natural shape. Um, as a freshman in high school, I discovered what eyebrow pencils were. There should be a warning on eyebrow pencils. Darker does not mean better. You know, it, a harsh shape does not mean you have a nice shape. I literally came to school one day with no eyebrows. The next day I came and I had, like, black eyebrows. I found like the darkest pencil I could find and like colored. I looked like a circus clown. It was rough. And of course, you know, all day, because it was the first day I had ever worn, you know, like these pencil eyebrows, I'm walking around completely like scared. I'm gonna rub near my brows and like rub the eyebrow everywhere. I mean, it was just stressful. It, it was not worth it. And so I've been through, and now that I'm 25, you know, been through this process of, my brows have been this evolving thing. Finally got to a point where I found this like CoverGirl pencil that kind of worked. I did it really lightly and I, I ended up really liking it. But, you know, as I got older, I wanted to get something that was a little bit nicer, a little bit more fine-tuned, you know, a little more adult. Um, and I started to buy a little bit nicer makeup as I got older. So, you know, naturally I wanted to get a brow routine that I really liked and I just wanted to upgrade. So, now this part's a little pricey, but... I really thought about this purchase. Um, I think about purchases over $20 for a really long time because I'm so cheap by nature. Um, I have champagne taste, but when it comes to spending my money for real, I am cheap. So I thought about this for a really long time, but I've heard so many raves about it from gurus and other people that I thought I would give it a go. I looked at it a few times at the store before I actually purchased it and brought it home, but then even then I was like, that is so expensive. And it is the Anastasia Brow Kit, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, excuse me, Brow Kit. I've had this for about a year. It comes in a box that this little pouch fits into. It's a really nice little pouch. It's um, kind of like a faux leather look and vinyl, purple, metallic purple. It's got double zippers, um, and it's double-sided. So... 
this all comes, everything comes in this pouch in the box. So in the kit, which is about $50, I believe you can purchase it. I know you can purchase it at Ulta, and, I'm, and I know it's at Sephora, but sometimes the versions that they have vary because they're different stores. Like sometimes there'll be something that's exclusive to Sephora that's not at Ulta and vice versa. So you're really going to have to shop around, but I'm also sure you can get something similar on the website. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a cold. So let's go through this real quick. <clears throat> so in there, in this pouch, comes all the items that come with the kit. So you get tweezers, brow gel, a pencil, a double-ended pencil, a uh, pencil, brush and spoolie, um, some stencils, and then up at the top is the shadow kit, um, the actual shadows that you use to fill in your brows. It's eye shadow. So let's go through really quickly each little thing. First thing is the tweezers. They are pink, a really pretty, like, kind of baby pink. Um, they say Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have some tweezer mans that I like, but these are my favorite tweezers. I would be lost without them. They're nice and um, sturdy, but they're not so tough that you really can't get a good clamp. Like, I can, I can squeeze that down, but they're very durable. Um, they are pretty sharp, so if you're a first-time plucker, or someone who's just getting, you know, used to it, I would let your hairs grow just a little bit more until you get comfortable with these for plucking because you can pinch your skin. I've done it a couple times, and that really hurts. Really hurts because I thought I wasn't going to pinch my skin, and then I did. All right, the next thing um, that you have <clears throat> is the, the brush that comes with it. So it's a double-ended brush. Let's do it like that. A double-ended brush, so one side you have your... One side you have the spoolie. The spoolie is um, used to comb your brows before you apply the color and to maybe use it afterwards, which is what I mainly use it for, to kind of even out the color. And then this is obviously to comb the color in. So while we're on that, this is the cutesy little compact that comes with um, the package. I can't even talk. I got this in medium ash. There's different colors given your hair color and skin tone. Uh, I think this one is probably one that is kind of universal if you're a brunette. So it has a dark side and a light side. The theory here is to use the light side where you have more brow, the dark side where, where you have little to no brow. So for me, for instance, here, let me get kind of close. So right in the beginning, I use the dark one a little bit more, and then through the rest of the brow, I use the light, and then at the end, tail end, I use a little bit more of the dark, and kind of blend them together to get kind of a hybrid shade that works best for me and what I'm comfortable with. Um, it's a really great little brow kit. I've had this for a year, and I've barely hit pan on the light side. Um, it's really fantastic. So brush it through. Use the spoolie to even it out. Make sure you've got kind of even-ish color all over. Um, and then if you need to, if you're not sure what your brow shape it should be or is, um, if you need some help with that, it does come with stencils, which is kind of cool and unique. Um, and it says what they kind of are, like a medium arch, which is kind of what I have, um, you know, and, and different widths and all kinds of stuff. It comes with about five or six. I only have four. I want to say it came with five or six. You don't remember anymore because it's been like a year. Um, but that's really helpful. So you could start with this and kind of fill in the brows with the pencil and then pluck around it. And it does come with the instructions on how to use these. Um, I since have gotten rid of them because I've had this for a while, but it does come with it, which is kind of nice. Um, like I said, this is $50. It's available at Ulta. Around $50, I'll take, I'll say that. It's available at Ulta and probably Sephora in one form or another. It's a great kick, kick, kit. Um, I think if you are, <clears throat> you know, really wanting to get your brows in check and kind of have something that has all the elements, it's really great. Um, really enjoy it. Has the brow gel in there, which I just realized I forgot to pull out. Um, that will keep your brows in check when you're done. Really nice. Um, keeps it all in here. I I really enjoy this. This is something that. I, you can repurchase, and you can actually repurchase individual pieces. Um, so you can repurchase the brush, or you can repurchase the shadows um, when you need. So please keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you've tried the product, leave a comment. Let me know how it went for you. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.